and welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. This time we're just going to go over uninstalling Oculus because if you have the new uh, runtime, you're going to have to uninstall your old runtime in order for this new one to work. Um, so if you attempt it without it, you'll probably get an error message like this. <laughs> And that basically means you just have to uninstall your Oculus. But if you've already tried to uninstall your Oculus setup and it was unsuccessful, you'll get an error message like this. And that one's not a fun one to have. So let's see what are some of the steps we can do to clean Oculus from our system to attempt to get this to install properly. Um, so the first thing you do, obviously, is you want to jump into uh, your control panel. So we're going to go down here, we type in control panel, boom, uninstall a program. All right. And then we're going to go down to Oculus, find Oculus. All right, boom. Um, there should be one more driver on there. Mine is always weird right now. So anyways, just click the main runtime. Um, if it says install only, do not uninstall that one. The main Oculus runtime, hit uninstall. When you do that, it will take a moment. Do you want to uninstall Oculus Runtime and all of its modules? Yes. We want to uninstall all of its modules. All of it. Everything. All right. Uninstallation complete. There. It is uninstalled. And if I go back into it now and I go over to where the Oculus is, you'll notice there's nothing there. No more Oculus files in there whatsoever. So good. Oculus is now gone from there. Okay, so step one when you finish that and you still want to get Oculus from your system is run CC Cleaner. Um, if, you, if you have this program, it's a great little simple program. You can analyze, then run cleaner, and that is something that, uh, I guess, why not? We'll do it real fast. After you run CC Cleaner, I, I even actually have advanced auto clean, and I, and I run that. If you have other cleaners, go ahead and run them. Just run any program that you want that makes you feel comfortable with cleaning your programs. All right, once you've done that, head over to your program files. All right, program files. In the C drive, if we just go down to program files, we look for the Oculus, you'll notice there is not one. There should not be one. Sometimes people will have an Oculus here still. Um, get rid of it if it's there, all right? And then go back to C program files. We're gonna go to 86. Which, once again, look for the Oculus. If you don't see it there, good. We don't want it there. So as long as there's no Oculus there, you're good on the program files. Next, we want you to go into the roaming file, which if you don't know how to get there, you can go down in your little search and you can type percent app data percent right uh, and make sure it's not capitalized like it just was right there <laughs> percent app data percent hit enter and boom uh, actually I already got it open that's probably why I didn't open um, so right here is what will instantly open for you and it'll take you to roaming and if you check roaming um, we'll just go back and forth uh, roaming if you go in there and look for the O's you will see there's an oculus folder right there configuration utility there's nothing there um, it's 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 already been deleted, but go ahead and just get rid of that folder. No reason to have it there. App data. If you click on app data, go to local, and once you're in local, scroll down. You will see another Oculus folder here, and this is where it actually has all of the files where it was doing your servers. If you ever had any problems, it was logging anything. Go ahead and right click and delete that file as well. So now we have the Oculus taken out of the app data. I'm just going to. Uh, I, I always have to get rid of the the trash bin. That's just I'm, I'm crazy like that. Also, I almost forgot, when you're in app data local, go over here, not just to the Oculus to delete him, but go into temp. When you go into temp, you're going to see other Oculuses right here, your old setup. So actually, go ahead, if you have any Oculus files in your app data local temp, make sure to find the O's, the Oculuses, and right click and delete those guys as well. Um, and lastly, we're going to jump into Windows. So if you go into C Drive, Windows, right here, you can scroll down to the bottom. And when you get close to the bottom, you've got two folders we're going to go into. We've got System32 uh, and we've got SysWow64. We'll start with SysWow64, right? Um, and scroll down until you get to the L's. We're going to go all the way to the L's, right? We're looking for Lib OVR. Lib OVR, I think this one's 32 or 64. Um, so we're going to go down to the L's. Right, here we go. Lib OVR RT32.6.7.8. These are Oculus files and we don't need them anymore. So we can actually take these three files right here, 0.6.7.8 of the Lib32s, and we'll just delete those guys. Boom, gone. Go back into Windows. We're going to go over here to Sys32, and the same thing, go down to the L's. So find the Lib. All right, here we go. We're back to the L's. And there they are. 
lib ovrt64. These three files right here, we don't need those guys anymore either. So go ahead and delete those guys. Gone. All right, once you're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and empty the recycle bin again. The last thing I do is I usually do a registry check. Uh, I just clean up the registry to make sure it's working fine. And as long as the registry is looking good, we're good to go. Um, so uh, I do not know why that is being that way. So now that we've uninstalled all those things, we can sit here and go back to our Oculus setup. Double click it. Oculus starts up. Welcome to the Rift. Let's go. I agree. Oh, back before we had this little warning here that said we needed to uninstall Oculus. Now that warning's gone, so it looks like we're going to be okay. Um, and as I said, if you do have problems after this point, once you've started to install it, and if it does error after it goes all the way to the end and does not complete, um, if it, it should give you uh, a code telling you what's wrong. It should tell you what's wrong. If it just says error occurred, I'm going to assume it's probably got something to do with your display drivers. Um, so you're either going to have to do a complete wipe with your display drivers and reinstall those, or you'll do what I did which was reinstall Windows on a different hard drive and try it that way. Um, and that seemed to always do the trick. So uh, it seems like there's something going on with Oculus hardware where, or software where if you downloaded previous versions and didn't uninstall them properly, there's going to be remnants on your computer that don't affect the DK2. They don't affect, you know, runtime 0.8, but they do affect runtime 1.3. They do affect the new Oculus um, software. So. Uh, good luck with any problems you have there, and hopefully if you have any questions, please send me a message, and I'll try to help you out as soon as possible. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. See you guys in the Metaverse very soon. Until next time.